Hello there. So as we go through the rest of today, it's going to remain pretty cloudy and damp towards the far east. Elsewhere, it's going to be brighter, but there is going to be some further snow for parts of Scotland. For that, then, there is a yellow snow warning in force through today. We could see two to five centimetres of snow accumulating above 200 metres or so. For eastern areas and through the afternoon, we're going to hold on to the largely cloudy skies with some further rain possible. Further west, it's looking much brighter, but there will be some pretty heavy showers pushing their way in. Some of these could turn thundery with the risk of hail. Under the often sunny skies then we could see highs of 9 or 10 Celsius but it's going to be much colder than this under the cloud towards the far east. As we go through the evening and overnight then the cloud in the far east will gradually try to push its way a little bit further westwards bringing some rain and drizzle but generally towards the west we're going to hold on to largely clear skies with just a few showers around. Under the clear skies then temperatures are going to take a bit of a tumble particularly towards north an island where there'll be quite a widespread frost. Elsewhere and where we see a few showers falling, they could bring something of an ice risk tomorrow morning. So a bit of a chilly start for many of us tomorrow and it will be something of a west-east split as we go through the day. Always cloudier towards the east with further outbreaks of rain and drizzle with the best of the bright and sunny skies out towards the west. In the sunshine then, temperatures won't do too badly. We could see highs of 7, 8 or even 9 Celsius down towards the southwest. But under the the cloud towards the east, it's likely to be a little bit colder than today with temperatures here struggling somewhat. Now as we go through the end of the week, that's when we're really going to see temperatures taking quite a tumble. That's because we're going to drag in this really cold air from the east and so that means by Friday maximum temperatures in some places may stay below freezing. Now, if you need to keep up to date with the rainfall, do not forget that the updated Met Office app has this new interactive rainfall radar available to you. That's it for me. I'll see you soon.